So, you know, one thing as we prepped for this, one of the dialogues we had that I thought I wanted to share with everybody was the importance of mentors to us. Um, uh, you know, and people who made a difference in our careers as we, as we made various decisions. And I, you know, I shared with you, you know, as I, I went back and forth on, my gosh, am I ready to uproot my family, move, and take on this chief HR officer role? Um, the amount of people who just gave me wonderful feedback, um, you know, and it's, you know, people outside the company to, you know, my 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 former boss and now my peer Frank Nierenhausen, who just just was like, my God, just go for it, and it was just like Emma, just go for it, yeah. and sometimes you just need that. And I think Cass, you shared some really good stories around mentorship and why it was important to you. Yeah, so for me, I always kind of had more of a day-to-day -day mentor. Um, I had a female boss, um, honestly the best boss that you could ever have, and I think she really focused on um, just kind of developing me as a professional in the workforce. So I didn't grow up with a lot of money. I didn't have a lot growing up, so things like even just what do you wear to a job interview? Yeah, um, yeah. how do you yeah. interact with uh, you know, <laughs> chief executive officer at the company? Um, those are things that Sue really helped develop me in. Um, and then I had other type of mentors, like um, I mentioned the VP of Ops and where that really started, um, which is still a little weird to me, but it was actually um, our president of the defense segment had, we had spoken at one of the OEA events, our Oshkosh Excellence Awards, um, and we had a fantastic conversation and I didn't know that the that conversation stood out to him so much and so he was the one who kind of started poking our VP of Ops of what's Cassie's next steps mm -hmm. and so um, when I was meeting with the VP of Ops we just really connected on a different level like I just felt like he kind of understood my background and my upbringing and where I feel like I was in a comfort zone and he saw that so he's very patient with me but that's where I think he got to the point where he's like Cassie you, know, you got to be a little selfish. Let's kind of focus on awesome. you and your career. Awesome. And he's the one who kind of pushed me to start thinking about, is there other areas of the company that I can contribute to? And I think deep down, I always wanted to, but I was just too scared to really come out and say it. And so I'm just so appreciative that uh, my mentor was willing to kind of be patient, but help develop me. So to start looking at other areas mm -hmm. of the company, and now I'm 18 months into this new role, and never in a million years did I think I'd be here. And I love what I'm doing. I'm develop. I'm learning things about trucks. I now know what a chassis is, and axles, and <laughs> torque rods. Uh, I know. Isn't it fun? <laughs> exactly. Welcome to the world of industrial manufacturing.